Well, we know the busy holiday travel season. It's going to be here before we know it. And the TSA always looking out for suspicious behavior. And some of the things they look out for are probably things you do every time you travel. Marcelino Benito explains for us. No liquids. Pull out your laptop, cell phones, pocket change, shoes. Frequent flyers know the basics. No shoes, no belt, unpack the laptop, and absolutely no weapons. Sir, right this way, please. Follow those rules and you'll likely get through security in a breeze, but know this, TSA is looking out for much more than that. It's called the SPOT program, short for screening of passengers by observation technique, and it started in 2007. Whose bag is this? It's a way to help TSA officers identify travelers who could pose a security risk. In 2015, a leaked TSA document revealed exactly what they look for. Warning, it's pretty innocent stuff. Sir, do not make me blow this whistle. Things like exaggerated yawning. Mm, mm, mm. Or too much throat clearing. They also look for anyone in possible disguise. Hello. Avoid staring around with your eyes wide open or gazing down too much. Whistling as you approach security, also a big no-no. If your eyes blink too fast, TSA will likely pull you aside too, especially if that blink rate speeds up when going through the checkpoint. If your face flushes, that raises red flags, along with rubbing your hands too much, a strong body odor, sweaty palms, even a pale face after a recent shave can raise eyebrows. Of course, be sure to wear proper attire for your location and avoid excessive complaints about the security process. Belt two. Uh, ma'am, I'm, I'm sorry, I'd rather Fine. not. Fine, opt out! If you're thinking these are fairly innocent behaviors we all might be guilty of, well, you're not alone. Over the years, critics have blasted the SPOT program, saying it leads to profiling and does little to protect the flying public. You are free to go. But the program was never officially shut down, and the TSA confirming with us today it is still in use and a successful way to protect U.S. airports.